Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticatingMe.com and recently I shared that I have ADHD. And on this channel, I'm gonna be sharing things that are helping me function with my ADHD. But before I begin, if you hear some hissing in the background, I'm very sorry. I live in a pre-war New York City apartment that has a radiator. They're incredible to heat your home, but they're very noisy. So I'm sorry if that gets picked up in the audio in the background, but hopefully we'll both be able to get through this. I love agendas. I have unboxed a couple of agendas on my channel over the years. I love agendas. Unfortunately, I get really excited about them in the beginning of the year and I use them and then eventually I kind of stop. It's not a defect of the agendas. The agendas aren't bad. It's just me. I cannot, I have not been able to use an agenda consistently the way that I thought that I would, that I certainly was planning to do when I bought them. If you have ADHD, you know we forget things, we need to write things down, we need to have them, um, we need to know what we have planned for the day, we need to have a to-do list, we need to have goals. So now being armed with the knowledge that I have ADHD, I went out and sought the best kind of agenda that would help someone like me or to help me with my needs. The one thing that I have always been consistent about is having a notebook with my to-do list. I'm looking over there off camera because it's sitting on my my desk it's the one thing that I will do consistently and I do every day unfortunately my to-do list book has usually has the same to-do list over and over again several times because I have had an issue going through my to-do list actually focusing enough uh, to complete my tasks but now I am on medication I'm doing much better at completing tasks but I still wanted something um, that I can use as an agenda to remind me of appointments because I'm very forgetful when it comes to those things. And that is why I want just one thing where I can have my important reminders, my to-do lists. And in all my research, what I'm hearing over and over again is that bullet journaling is the best for people with ADHD because you can put down whatever you need, whatever you find useful, anything that you don't, you can just stop doing and then continue and progress your book. And so bullet journaling is the way that I can have all the things that I need that work for me and then I can modify as I go. Another reason why I was inspired Inspired to do this is that for Christmas my husband gave me this beautiful leather bound book this was made in Florence it was purchased at a beautiful shop that I will link to down in the description box below in New Orleans and it was his Christmas gift because he knows that I always carry around a notebook with my to-do list I'm on the last few pages and so this was just such a beautiful thoughtful gift I'm also someone who tends to love books so much that I don't use them and I didn't want to do do that with this one. I wanted to use it. And so it was the beginning of the year. This was my Christmas gift. I know that bullet journaling is great for people with ADHD and that is what inspired me to use this as my bullet journal and make this video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use a bullet journal for my needs as a person with ADHD. So here is the first page. I put a this book belongs to here at the top and then this is inspired by Tiffany. I'm a big fan of Tiffany & Co. And eventually I will draw a heart around this, but this is inspired by the Return to Tiffany tags. And underneath my name, I will, or Jessica Flo, J Jessica Flo, a play on Tiffany & Co. Um, underneath I will put my phone number and my email address just in case I lose this, then I at least have a chance at getting it returned to me. The next page is where I have all my measurements. I am someone who's fighting that perfectionist um, gene of mine. I want things to be perfect and I'm fighting against this and I'm also using this notebook as like therapy in that sense for my perfectionist issue. It's going to help me relax a little bit but I know that my perfectionist, you know, brain, the bit of me that wants everything to be perfect and look perfect needs this as a guide and then I will be a little bit more free with the following pages. So I measured the page out so that I know if I wanted to center something I would have, you know, how many inches I would need to go in, if I wanted something cut up into quarters and things like that, how to make little boxes, I did all these measurements. And then here I have my key which is one of the things that bullet journals you know, you will always see in a bullet journal is a key. This will remind me what these symbols are meant for and this will remind me what colors are meant for what purpose or what person. So here I have myself, my husband, my kids, and then I have things like for like work and travel, 
um, birthdays, holidays, miscellaneous things. Now the next pages I'm gonna skip here because they are particular to me. It's really not an ADHD thing. It's, it's, it's where I'm going to write down ideas for my YouTube channel. I have YouTube channel, I have a shorts page, I have a blog, web stories page, a photo shoot page. Um, and then I have these fun collections. These are my, this, this collection is my entertainment collection. I have movies to write down the movies that I want to see, shows that I want to watch, books that I want to read. Um, if you want me to cover these in a future video, just for fun, let me know in the description box below. So then I have what is called a future log and this has 12 months, all 12 months of the year. And then underneath each one, I have all of the special dates that I need to remember. So in here, I I will include birthdays, I will include important appointments that I need to remind myself about, any events, any important events that I need to go to, and things like that. So if I need to, you know, remember something that's going to happen a month from now, two months from now, like a doctor's appointment or a trip, I can put it down here and always refer back to it. Then I have my month in two pages, and because of my lifestyle, the way that I live, um, Saturdays and Sundays, I'm a homebody. We don't go out much. We have movie nights here at home with the kids. I really don't do much on the weekends per se that I need to write down. Most of the things that I need to remember are during the week. So that is why I've decided to divide it into four days on one page starting on Monday and then having Friday in one column and then having Saturday and Sunday both in one column because again, I usually don't have appointments or things to do on those weekends that I would need to write down to remind myself. And then that leaves me with this space right here. And this I can use for anything. I can use this for notes, for like really important tasks that I need to do within the month, uh, goals, um, an inspirational quote, things like that. It just frees up the space for me to use up um, in many ways. One of the things I noticed with all of my previous agendas is that I do not write a ton during these days. Because I work from home and I'm in charge of my own schedule, I don't need a ton of space to schedule my days. So I've given myself uh, enough space that if I do have appointments, like a, a doctor's appointment, something to remind my, uh, something for my kids, I can write it here. But then I also am using this space to write at least three important tasks that I need to complete by the end of the day. Uh, that is my goal. Um, moving forward every day I will write down the three most important tasks that I need to complete by that day so that it's there I see it I can't avoid it and it, I know that it needs to get done and then we go back to the whole reason why I wanted a bullet journal the thing that I use notebooks for the most the things that I the thing that I need the most and that is my to-do list and so this is the reason why I decided for sure I'm gonna try the bullet journal and that is this page and it's called the setup is called a rolling to-do list. As I mentioned, I every day I do a to-do list and I wind up writing the same things over and over and over again because I have trouble complete, completing them or I don't complete enough of them so that I'm writing the same things down over and over again uh, day to day and even week to week. I'm on medication so I'm getting better at completing my tasks but again this is this is the the best setup that I have that I have seen. So on my to-do list I have written here the days of the week and then this is how I'm going to schedule my tasks. So on for tasks that I need to complete on a certain day or I want to complete on a certain day, I will schedule it. So for example, so I've written here some tasks. The first task is to edit my bullet journal video. So I have tentatively scheduled that for Monday. I want to do this Monday. So I put a circle under the M for Monday. It, today's Monday and guess what? I'm filming, it's the afternoon, I'm gonna have to pick up my daughter. Once my kids are home, I don't know how much time I'll have to edit this video. So let's say I know I'm not gonna edit it today. I made a mistake. I wanna edit it tomorrow. So I'm gonna use my migration symbol, which is triangle to the right, and then I'm gonna put that circle under T because that means I'm not doing it Monday, it's not gonna get done on Monday, but I wanna do it on Tuesday. So that's when it's scheduled. And then when it's complete, then I will fill in that 
uh, square. For me, I did a ton of research. I watched a ton of YouTube videos and searched the internet, searched Pinterest. For me, this is just the best layout and the layout that I'm the most excited about. I feel like this is really, really going to help me. And I do plan to do an update video. So make sure that you are subscribed if you're not subscribed to me. And actually, this is a perfect opportunity for me to introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle blogger and YouTuber. I cover everything from fashion to beauty, family travel, ADHD. And so if any of those topics interest you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can set up your notifications for all. That way, whenever my videos go out and I make new videos, Every week you won't miss a thing so I did this all on camera before doing this part but one thing that I didn't get on camera that I did actually just over the weekend that I think would be super helpful for people with ADHD and I'm excited about is this page right here this page says doctor at the top and I'm leaving these two pages for medical um, appointments. Um, it's not a way for me to necessarily remember the appointments that I have. I'm using this for me to type down notes for me to share with my doctors and my kids doctors which is why at the top it says doctor but then I've color I've created a color code for when it's a doctor's appointment for me for my son or my two girls and so before I have a doctor's appointment so today for example I have a follow-up appointment with my psychiatrist to discuss my ADHD medication and how I'm doing on it so any notes that I need to remember for that appointment I will write down in this section and use the heading and uh, color code it so that I know this is my section this is what I need to remember for this appointment um, my daughter has her annual checkup so I will write down notes here for my daughter's annual annual checkup if there's anything that's concerning me anything that I want to discuss with my doctor um, to ask questions or to let him know anything if I'm if I have any concerns etc that will all go here because over the years I know that I will go see a doctor and I will say to myself okay I need to discuss these three things with the doctor and then when I go there I will forget. If I'm going to the doctor, I'm going to remember to take this and if I have it with me I'm going to remember to look at it. Um, so I think it's something that's gonna really help me out and might help you out. Now I'm gonna show you what I use for my bullet journaling. Now did I buy too much? Maybe. Was it an impulsive ADHD purchase? Perhaps, but hear me out. I wanted to try a bunch of different things that I found on Amazon just so that I could see what would be most useful to me. I wanted to try it out and see what I loved, what I could go without, and then maybe by using them in my bullet journal, you could see if they were right for you or not. After doing all of my bullet journaling, I found that the stencils were the most useful. The stamps are nice, but not necessary. And I would recommend that more for someone who maybe is a little bit of a perfectionist and wants straight lines and you don't want to count on your handwriting skills and that might be right for you but otherwise just a pen and a ruler I think are enough for bullet journaling and especially if you have a bullet journal that already has dots in them then you can just follow those dots to create your boxes and all of that. I will say that I fell in love with the brand Mr. Pen. I really like their shop and the things that they have for sale. My gold ruler set was from them. The highlighters are from them and I've purchased from them before so I really recommend Mr. Pen. And as all my videos go anything that I use in this video that I can link to I will have the links down in the description box below. Like I said, I have some more pages here that I'm going to use kind of like for fun and for work. So if you are a content creator and want me to show you how I'm going to organize my content creation uh, things in this book, let me know in the comment section below. If you are just interested in how I'm going to do the fun collection of my entertainment, let me know in the comment section below as well. If this video was helpful and if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. If you have any questions or want to share how you're using a bullet journal, what has worked for you, what hasn't worked for you, please let me know in the comment section below so that we can share that information with others out there. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.